Are you a first time glamper? We are going to show you some of our personal favorite items for you to consider bringing on your glamping trip. For a full list of what to bring and for tips on first time glamping, check out our blog article at the end of this video or in the video description below. Also, stay tuned to the end to get a link to our first time glamping experience at Elk Island Retreat in Alberta, Canada, glamping in this lovely geodesic dome and in this beautifully crafted wood built yurt. Welcome to Redoing Life a channel that encourages and empowers you to recognize you are the agent of change in your life and to start changing. We personally like having our water filter, so we definitely brought our Brita water pitcher with us. It makes it easier when you can also refill it with potable water, especially here at Elk Island Retreat. Also, it was another way to have an additional water container with us in our accommodations. So I'm biased. I like the Corel brand. What I love about them is one, they're lightweight. Two, they're very smooth to the touch, so I'm just gonna they're very smooth on the hands. I like that because it makes washing these dishes easier. I can't remember what type this is. I think it's a frosted white and I just love the look of it. I like the thinness of it and it makes it easy to pack when glamping. I got my one plate there and then I got my other plate here. And, I, oops, and then I got another bowl and then I got another bowl. So they just stack up so nicely on each other and it just saves so much space on like when you have a little surface area to put your stuff on. We like bringing True Earth laundry strips with us when we travel. I like it because like, look how thin the packaging is and it's in this paper packaging as well. So the package can easily fit in your travel bag and the paper packaging can be recycled later on. So here we are with the fresh linen strip. It comes as two strips together. So we're gonna only use one and we'll show you. And then we're just gonna drop it right into the washer. Here we're using our Calibri Extra Large Wet Bag as a laundry bag, which has a waterproof liner inside. I love the cute ninja print on the bag. Also, I like that we can put a good chunk of dirty clothes in it and the bag can handle it. See how full it is? Nice and full. I'm sorry, you can see the dirty laundry. It's quite full in there. We got a nice, nice pair of jeans in there. And a flat shirt. Personally, my husband and I wanted to stop using dryer sheets to dry with our clothes. So we switched to using True Earth Laundry wool dryer balls. And since we have a medium load, we only need to use four balls. We've been using this for about at least a year and a half and they've done quite well. Jeans and socks and plaid shirt. Looks pretty good. I mean, like they weren't crazy dirty. We just wanted to get them clean just because we, we did bring a limited number of clothes. As an alternative to tubes of toothpaste, I use Crush and Brush Toothpaste Tablets by Nelson Naturals Inc. They are these tablets that you can crush with your teeth, let it foam in the mouth, swish it around, brush, then rinse. Whenever we travel, we bring our portable door lock as an additional security measure for us. This is to ensure that no strangers can access our unit while we are in it, especially when we are sleeping at night. For example, someone has a duplicate key or has a code to the door that still works or knows how to pick the lock and gets in easily at night without us noticing. Interested in any item shown in this video? Head to the video description below to our product affiliate links. What we have in this spray bottle is a mix of water, dish soap, as well as vinegar. And we figured that this was probably gonna be a huge convenience or I guess luxury during a glamping trip. So we brought it to make it easier for us to wash our dishes and even this wash basin here. All right. And we got a cutting board there and we're going to take our spray and we're going to pre-spray all these guys. You can see everything soaking now with that vinegar water and soap solution and we found over time, yes, the vinegar is quite intrusive on the nose, so just be careful. Try not to inhale the mist that comes out of that spray bottle. Because we don't have that many jugs to put water in, and we do use a lot, especially for dishwashing and all that, we figured this, this spray bottle was one of those ways to use a little less water, but also to cover more surface area of all of our dishes by having that soap, water, vinegar mixture ready. We made a makeshift running water dispenser for us to use for washing dishes, our hands, and face. A luxury to have when glamping. We use a combination of a one liter pressure pump spray bottle with silicone tubing, a thick rubber twist tie, and some duct tape. When washing dishes, we found it most helpful to have one person dispensing the water and one rinsing the dishes. You can also go auto operation, which uses this button here to enable it. And it locks it in place, and there you go. Now the drawback of this one is that it uses more water faster. I'm good, thank you. 
And over time, like whenever we fill this bottle specifically, we'll get some like water here and there. So you see some puddles, little puddles of water here and there throughout. You see that? So one of the things I like bringing with us on uh, on any trip is some microfibers. It just makes it easier to wipe things and it dries things fast. Don't forget to bring one of these. This is our favorite scent from Dr. Bronner's. It's a citrus scent. What we do with it is that we didn't do it as a gel. We did it as a foamer. And I'll get my husband to explain what we did for the foamer. This is a foam bottle here. Like most liquid soaps, you can foam it by mixing it with water. We use distilled water. And for Dr. Bronner's, we found that about a one-to-one -one mix is good enough to get you a good foaming liquid. We use it for body wash, shampoo, and face wash. On the fourth day, Dr. Bronner started building up on our body. So you may feel that the soap kind of goes away pretty fast we typically end up having to use more <laughs> which shouldn't be the case but that's just to let you know so you're aware that's our personal experience if you do go glamping or camping for about two three days you're solid an electric fly swatter you may not know of what this is but uh, it actually is very useful when it comes to camping and even around the house when you have a lot of bugs flies mosquitoes gnats and the fruit flies so I'll just show you here inside our geodome, we have a, and I'm gonna zoom in, we have a fly. Yeah. So, so we're gonna you have to be quick. take care of business. Yeah, you have to be quick with this. Flies are very fast, especially the house flies. Oh, missed it. Got one. Ooh, not too long. Travel plug adapter and magnetic USB-C cable. What we have here, so we have a USB, oh sorry, we have a USB-C plug here. Uh, we have the EU, UK, um, Australia uh, prongs on the other side. This is your, uh, how you can plug in your items. And then underneath here are USB plugins. So this is more of if the place doesn't have a USB plug and you want a multi-plug situation, uh, definitely get this item here. USB cord, right? So this is actually a long magnetic, oh sorry, magnetic is really long, really long magnetic uh, USB-C cord. And so this is really convenient because sometimes plug outlets could be quite a ways. And so sometimes it never hurts to have a, a really long cord. So what you can do, since it has all these magnets on here, you can use the magnets to connect and you can put it together like that so you can shorten it. You can shorten it and you can make it long. Packing cubes. I can't tell you enough how much I love packing cubes. It makes life so much easy in terms of bringing big stuff. And especially because we're into like fall season. So we're looking at temperatures of pretty much ranging from one degree to 19 degrees. It can, it gets warm, but it gets pretty cold pretty fast. So I have to bring the hoodie. I got to bring comfortable warm pants, like a lot of long sleeves and like thermal pants. These things are pretty thick. Like you can tell, like, look how much space it's taking. You really got to push down and, and don't worry. Like you won't break this as long as you push down on these cubes. You should be able to get all these things in here quite easily and make sure not to snag any of your shirts as you're zipping. Got to help the zipper out. There we go. And there we go. And the beauty about these particular packing cubes is that they have a handle here and it also has a mesh here so it can allow your clothes to breathe. For a full list of what to bring in for tips on first time glamping, check out our blog article here or in the video description below. Otherwise, consider Elk Island Retreat for your next glamping experience here on our video playlist or in the video description below.